Fox had returned to the joyful animals of Farthing Wood, and with the help of his newfound mate, Dixon, he was leading us as before. But we still relied on Toad to guide us. Yeah, <laughs> water's cool and sweet. I say, that old carp's got him. Luckily, a heron came to Toad's rescue, Whistler by name. But even he could do nothing to save the baby rabbit who ran into a pheasant shoot. Oh, no. Getting dark. We'll move at first light. White Deer Park was our only hope of safety. If Toad's on course, we'll be there for winter. Our own den. Footprints in the snow when we go hunting. No one to disturb us. And in the spring, our cubs will be safe. Safe. For always. If we ever get there. We will, won't we? Of course we will, mateys. <laughs> Not far to go now. He who risks the lives of many on the word of one will soon learn that words cost little and accomplish nothing. Hmm, looks like they've stopped ahead. Thank goodness. I thought we'd never catch up. Yeah, it's all very well them taking little rests along the way, but when do we have a break? I expect they think they've done us a favour too. Yeah, there's nothing for it. We smaller animals must convene a meeting. The oath calls for all animals to protect one another, and that means we get rest too. Here, here. Thought you'd got lost. Sorry to disappoint you. If you're so slow, how slow is a slow worm? <sighs> They're just lizards without legs. You're as proud as Toad. Not possible. Fox and Vixen have made him feel so important, his head's swollen to the size of a puffball. Coming for a hunt? Oh, at this time of day. Please yourselves. <gasps> now what? There's a road ahead! A big road! Oh, what? What are we going to do oh. now? Oh, I'm so worried! <laughs> what did I tell you? Do you remember a road, Toady? Oh, dear. Let, let's see now. Yes. Come to think of it, there was a sort of road. Oh, no. Now he tells us. Toady's down a blunder. <laughs> but it was rough. Lots of stones. No traffic on it. Well, there were some big machines, but they were only digging. Building. And we all know how quick humans are at that. Oh, you mean now it's finished? Yes. So that's where they were taking all the quarry stone. Oh, this is the last straw. All that walking or nothing. How big is it, Toady? Wide. Come to think of it, there were two roads side by side. Two roads. The traffic moves like two rivers flowing in opposite directions. What does she mean? It's what humans call a motorway. Is it very busy, Kestrel? There are six lines of traffic, three going south, three going north, with a grassy bank between. This is what comes of putting your trust in a toad. I'm very sorry, but I didn't know what they were building, did I? He didn't know because he's stupid. Yes, quite right. Is there no way round it? Oh, dear, I am sorry, Fox. But you see, White Deer Park is on the other side. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> Quite.
quiet, Weasel. When there is no way forward, the only way is back. The hunt. We can't go back. We could. Yes, we could. You're just being selfish. How dare you? After all Fox has done for us. Why, he could have stayed with Vixen and left us to our fate, but he came back, didn't he? And why? Because we animals stick together. Hooray! Kestrel, can you see them? They're coming this way. I think they're on your scent. We've no choice. To the road. Uh, can we vote on it, please? No time. Sometimes fear of one evil overcomes the fear of another. In other words, let's start up. And I'll second bowl if I get the chance. <sighs> The hunt is getting nearer! It's all right. We're nearly there. We'll be caught between two evils. Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, excuse me for interrupting, but I just thought you'd like to know I've flown over that road, but I never saw the hunt on the other side of it. Never. Thank you, Whistler. What's happening? I can't see. They're turning back. I thought they might. Don't want the hounds near the road, eh, Fox? Hmm. That's about it. Jolly good! They've turned back! Hooray! Oh, thank goodness. Now, take a look. Don't do that, dear. Please, don't do that. But I'm frightened. Yeah, I know, but it won't help. What are we going to do now? Could we tunnel under it, do you think? Oh, it would take years, Molly. See? Think only of themselves. How are we supposed to cross a road like that? We can't trust the larger animals. The only time you smaller animals have got into trouble is when you've left the group. He's right there. It's all right for him. He won't have any trouble getting across the road, will he? <laughs> Weasel's, Weasel's right. right. Uh, can I have your attention, everyone? No one said this journey to White Deer Park would be easy. But we've come through it together so far. Yeah, we haven't got all yes. night. And we're going to come through this. And how do you propose to achieve such a laudable aim? Why, Al? Have you any ideas? Well, I'd have to think first. Oh, no. Have I got all day? She hasn't got an idea in her head. When have I ever let you down? Or a fox? First, we look at the problem nice and calmly, right? cars aren't moving at all. So we could get as far as the grass in the middle without too much trouble. Couldn't we just wait till it's dark? Don't be silly. You know what you're like with car headlights. Uh, if I may be so bold, uh, this isn't a country road. Oh, no, it's never quiet. It was the same with the quarry, you see. They worked at destroying the land day and night without stopping until they had exhausted it. Uh, excuse me for mentioning it. 
Not at all, Whistler. Well, I agree with Fox. I think we should get as far as the, the grass in the middle while we have the chance. One step at a time. Some of us have bigger steps than others. And some of us have no steps at all. They've stopped. There are no cars moving on this side. Come on, while we have the chance. Don't let your instinct get the better of you. No need to shout. I'm not deaf. Well, here goes. Are you all ready? Come on! No need to panic. Just watch out for sudden movements, that's all. Oh! <laughs> that was a close one, matey! I'll come with you. Now! I'll show you how! It's all red! Ah! Just look where you're going. Look at Fox. Make for him. Oh, you stupid weasel. Why didn't you stay where you were? We can always jump over the cars! <laughs> it's safer over the top! I'm going underneath! Dare you to fall! That weasel's asking for trouble. Come on, mice of the hedgehogs. Let's get going. Don't you think we should wait for Adder? We'll help Adder when she gets here. Your turn now. Oh, dear. <laughs> now, just be calm, dearest. Don't curl up. I'll try. I promise I'll try. Off we go. Going. Now I'm just checking. I want to curl up. <laughs> now a few steps at a time, my dear. Come on, it's safe. Come on, Maka. This isn't natural, I tell you. It just isn't natural. <laughs> help! 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 Come on, Mother. It's only Badger. They've seen us. Oh. Are you all right, my dear? Yes. And you? I think they've stopped again. Come on, you thorn bushes on legs. You can do it. Don't curl up. Keep going! Don't stop! Watch out! Don't curl up! Well done! Now we're all here! Except Ada! Ow! Would you mind flying over? See if you can spot her. Since you ask, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> We can't stay here for long. <laughs> disgusting. Who's disgusting? The grass. It tastes funny. <coughs> She's right. It tastes like the funny smell in the air. <coughs> Daddy, look at that. Mum, Dad, there's a lot of funny animals beside us. Oh, no. That's all we need. Are those squirrels, Daddy? Vermin! Get rid of them! Oh! ho! Oh. Badger, can I get down, please? Stay where you are! Take that! <laughs> Don't run into the road! 
Weasel, don't! Take that! We've got to get out of here. Oh, easier said than done, mateys. The smaller animals don't stand a chance. Kestrel and Owl could carry them over. Yes, but they're natural enemies. Wouldn't they be frightened? Need some help? Whistler, you only eat fish, don't you? As a rule, yes. Will you carry the smaller animals over the road? Delighted. Who will go first? I trust you, Whistler. You saved my life. Right you are. Come on! <laughs> it's lovely! Me next? <laughs> no, me! Me and Mother should go first. Come on, queue up. Everyone will get a turn. Look, a gap in the traffic. Come on, Hares. Wait! There's something coming. Ready? Steady? Go! Sorry, couldn't stop. We're safe. We're safe. Oh, all right. I never thought I'd see the day of vol in flight. Oh, my lord. Where's everybody gone? Well, some have run across the road. The whistler's taking the rest. I'm going to run across too. Oh, no, you're not. Is Whistler taking us? Whistler? What about the hedgehogs? Oh dear, if only I could. But you're so thorny. It's all right. We know it's no good. Yes, we know. It's all right. Come back! Weasel! Oh, oh, oh! The rest of us must wait for a long uh, gap in the traffic. It will have to be a very long gap. Yeah, I'll second that. I wonder what White Deer Park looks like. Oh, I don't know. Lots of white deer, I suppose. Grass, streams, that sort of thing. Sounds nice. Hope we make it. I'll second that. Ah, I think I can see a gap coming. Now, oh, quick as you can. Don't panic. There's nothing coming. I'm not panicking. Come on, hedgehogs. Faster, faster. Hurry. Hooray, we're all going to make it, mateys. Hey. We're safe. Yes, Molly, but what about the, the hedgehogs? Come on, dear. Better get moving. All right. Don't fuss. I'm coming. Trouble is, when the cars move, I want to stop. Come on, dear. <laughs> I can't. Please. Don't curl up. Whatever you do, dearest, don't curl up. <laughs> she wouldn't leave him. What happened? Why didn't they run? Instincts got the better of them. And instincts can be very strong, matey. I should know. She's found Adder. 
Everyone else has either been carried or has run over the road. Oh, has been run over. I've got eyes to see. Those cowering hedgehogs just curled up and died. Well, I've no desire to commit suicide. Then let me take you. She'd never let herself be carried over, not by Owl or Kestrel anyway. Uh, Vixen's right. Far too proud. Can you help, Whistler? Element of surprise, hmm? See what I can do. Reflect, Adder, on the ancient wisdom expressed in the phrase, better to lose one's dignity than to lose one's life. I won't lose either if I stay here, which is exactly what I'm going to do, you pompous bundle of feathers. Because no one can force me to do anything I don't wish to. <laughs> Put me down at once. Well done, Whistler. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. <laughs> Up there, in the sky, <laughs> you look just like a wiggly old maggot. <laughs> maggot? <sighs> At least you're safe, which is more than can be said for the hedgehogs. Yes, Al. It's my fault. Why? What could you have done? They didn't stand a chance. Think what would have happened to them if they'd stayed behind in Farthing Wood. At least they tried. Yes, I'll second that. To think all the rest of us came safely across that road. Hard to believe. But it's all thanks to you, Fox. Yeah, yeah. We're all behind you, you know. Well, uh, most of us are anyway. And now it's all clear sailing to White Deer Park. Come on, mateys!